Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus. So holy, meek and mild. New life, new hope to all he brings. Listen to the agency. Glory, glory, glory. beginning church and our online family and friends. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful Christmas morning. This is the day that we have set aside to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray that you will click the share button and start a watch party with your family and friends. Our scripture this morning will come from Isaiah 9 verse number 6. And it reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Now it was prophesied in the Old Testament, and it came to pass in the New Testament. In Matthew 1, verse number 21, it says, And she will bring forth a son, and you will call him his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek, and mild, new life, new hope to all he brings, listen to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory. Joseph as his earthly father. The wise men came from afar. They were guided by a shining light to see King Jesus where he laid in a manger filled with hay. Oh, they call him Jesus. Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, so holy, meek, and mild, new life, new hope to all he brings. Listen to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the newborn King. God in heaven, in the name of Jesus the Christ we come. We thank you for another Lord's day. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us and keeping us. We thank you for allowing us to see another day to celebrate Jesus, our Savior, Jesus, our Lord and King. Now, Lord, we ask you to forgive us for our sins, for we realize, Father God, that you're the only one who can forgive sin. Lord, we ask you, Father God, to bless us as we come before you and teach and preach your word that men, women, boys, and girls will see Jesus and Jesus alone. 
Lord, we ask you to bless us on this day that we will walk with you and obey your will. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we ask it all. Amen and thank God. Jesus is his name. His name, his name is Jesus. His, his name is, his name is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this great getting up morning, this great morning where the Savior, we recognize the Savior to have been born. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for being a part of our, our Christmas service on this morning. I, as you've heard so many times, I won't be before you long. But really, I really appreciate you joining us on this last Christmas uh, that we can celebrate right now, for we don't know if we'll be able to celebrate another one. So we must enjoy this moment of celebration unto the Lord Jesus, our King. Let me call your attention to Matthew chapter 1, verse number 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse number 21. That verse says, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. I want to talk about the Son, the Savior. The Son, the Savior. This has been a tough year for everybody. It has been a year where we have looked at things from afar and things from near. We all have suffered wrong or we all have suffered something during this year. We all have suffered some type of sickness within our family, among our friends, or we have suffered death along the way. But I want to tell you this morning, in the midst of our suffering, we still have a son who is the Savior. He is the son of Mary. He is the son, the earthly son of Joseph. But most of all, he is the son of God. He's the son. He is the offspring. But he, most of all, is the one who can keep us. He is the one who protects us. He is the one who has delivered us. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus, the Son of God. When we look at the text, we find Joseph struggling. I said to you a couple of weeks ago that Joseph was struggling because he had just left the Mari show. And Mari had just told him that you are not the father. But contextually, we find that Mary has, has been impregnated with a child by way of the Holy Spirit. Joseph knew that he had not been with her. But his girl, his ex-spouse wife, has come up pregnant with a real child, with a real baby, and in a few months, she will really have a baby. And, and Joseph, knowing he hadn't been there, Joseph, being an honorable man, didn't want to embarrass Mary, so he, he sought to find a way to put her away quietly. The text declares that, that Joseph slept with this in his mind. And while he was asleep, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The angel of the Lord said, this thing that has happened is not of any other man. It is of the Holy Spirit. 
We find ourselves in verse number 21, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, where the angel informs Joseph, and she shall bring forth a son. The prophets of old had already prophesied that a child would be, be, be born. A child, Emmanuel, God with us, will be, be, be born. And he will be born of a virgin, one who had not seen a man, one who had not known a man, one who had not been with a man. Her name is Mary. And she shall bring forth, she would bear, she will bring forth a son, a male child. She will bring forth. See, the angel did not leave it where there was questioning. It would be a son, it would be a male child that you will bring forth. She will bring forth a male child, a son. Her offspring would be a son. My first point to you is this son will be born of a virgin. This son would be a miracle baby. This son would, would be a baby that, that no other baby had been born this way. This son would be the son of Mary. Joseph was chosen as his earthly father, but God himself was the father of this son. The second point to you is, and you shall call his name Jesus. God speaks loudly and God speaks clearly. Right. He makes sure that not only does Joseph understand, he makes sure that we understand that his name shall be called Jesus. Yes. This name Jesus is the name above every name. This name, Jesus, means Jehovah saves. Mm. This name, Jesus, is Emmanuel, meaning that God is present with us. In these crises, regardless of which crisis you are going through, because you are in the midst of a crisis, so it doesn't matter which crisis you're going through, you need the name Jesus. Yes. Paul picks this thought up in Philippians. He says that Jesus has been given a name above every name. Yes. That at the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Yes. And at the name Jesus, every tongue must confess that he is Lord. Yes, yes, yes Jesus is his name. The songwriter would ask the question, and he would ask the question over and over again. What is his name? Jesus. His name is Jesus. There is no name like this name. There is no person who carries any other name like the person who carries this name. He is the son of God. His name is Jesus. You need to get to know that name. You need to make sure you understand the power in that name. As you go through COVID-19, you need the name of Jesus. Right. As family members struggle with, with living on little or no income, you need the name of Jesus. As you and your neighbors struggle to get along because tension is raging and tension is high because we've been locked down and locked in so long, you're going to need the name Jesus. Let me tell you, there's no name like this name. You need the name of Jesus. My final point is found in that last portion of that verse. It says that for he shall... He will save his people from their sins. <clears throat> this word save means to protect. This word save means to deliver. And this word save means to preserve. Let me just tell you that many times God has to protect us from ourselves. That's right. And not to mention that God has to protect us from our sins. Jesus is our protector. Yes, Jesus is our deliverer. 
Jesus is our preserver. He says, he says in the text, he says that, that he will save his people from their sins. He will protect us. He will deliver us. And he will preserve us. Right here in the text, the Bible teaches us, even on a Christmas morning, the Bible teaches us when Jesus saves us, he saves us in three different areas. Number one, he saves us from the penalty of sin. We don't have to go to hell. We don't have to burn in hell. We don't have to miss heaven. He saves us from the penalty of sin, and the penalty of sin is death, and your, your resident becomes hell. He saves us from the penalty of sin. That is salvation. Secondly, he saves us from the power of sin. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, when we are saved by Jesus, he saves us from the power of sin. That is sanctification. Yeah, this Jesus that we serve, this Jesus who has saving power, this Jesus that saves us from sin, he saves us from the power of sin, sanctification he gives us, and we do not have to submit to sin. We don't have to rock, walk around just sinning at will. We, we, Jesus has saved us from the power of sin. Therefore, sin has no dominion over us. We don't have to cuss. We, we don't have to steal. We, we don't have to lie. We don't have to misuse people because Jesus saves us from the power of sin. Thirdly, right here in the text, it, it delivers to us the message that Jesus saves us from the presence of sin. Yes, he does. He saves us from the presence of sin that is known as glorification. One of these days, these bodies that we have will become glorified bodies. No sickness, no pain, no suffering anymore. Jesus will give us glorified bodies if we just trust him as our Savior. He saves us from, from the penalty of sin. We don't have to go to hell. He saves us from the power of sin. We can live sanctified, holy, set apart lives. And then he saves us from the presence of sin. We, do, we don't have to go to hell. We will go to heaven. And when we go to heaven, we will be in the, in the presence of God. And we will glorify God from now on. Paul picks this up, this thought up and. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18, where Paul says, Brethren, I don't want you to be ignorant. I don't want you to be ill-informed. I, I don't want you to be uninformed. Brethren, concerning those who are asleep who died in Christ, many have died. Over 329,000 have died from one single disease during this season. That's in America alone. They say that, the, the statistics say that every minute thousands die from this virus globally. The good thing is, the good news is those who die in Christ will have glorified bodies. And we won't have to worry about sin. We won't have to worry about backstabbing. We won't have to worry about punishment. We won't have to worry about sickness nor suffering because we will have glorified bodies. Because of the Son, the Savior, Jesus the Christ. If you're listening to me this morning, this is a good day. It is a good day for you to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Jesus, the same Jesus that was born in Bethlehem of Judea, the same Jesus that the text talks about that will be called Jesus, Jesus will be his name for he will save his people from their sins. The same Jesus died over 2,000 years ago. 
while we were yet in our sins. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, while we were yet doing our own thing, while we were yet in our sin, Jesus Christ died for us. Amen. He died. He was born in a manger. He was, he was born and laid in a manger. He was wrapped in strips of cloth. That same Jesus walked these mundane shores. The same Jesus opened blinded eyes. The same Jesus uh, raised the dead. The same Jesus called lame men, caused lame men to walk. Amen. The same Jesus died on the cross one day. He did not have to die. He chose to die. He he voluntarily died. He, he gave up the ghost for you and he gave it up for me. He died on a cross one day. The same Jesus we're talking about. Mean men took him and mean men killed him. Yeah, they, they laid him on a cross. They nailed it tight. They riveted his feet. And they lifted up the cross. And Jesus has already said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. They raised up the cross that day with Jesus on it. There was a man on the right side and a man on the left, but the man that matters this morning was the man in the middle. Amen. He died for your sins and my sins. They took him off the cross, laid him in a borrowed tomb. It was a borrowed tomb because he didn't need it too long. Early that third day morning, Jesus the Christ rose with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. He rose with all power, saving power, delivering power, protecting power, and preserving power. He rose with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. Jesus the Son, Jesus the Savior, <clears throat> rose with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. He did it for you. So this morning, on a Christmas morning, this morning, the day that we celebrate Christ's birthday, this morning, when life has gone awry, when situations are bad, you can receive Jesus. That's right. You can go to heaven when you die. You can be <laughs> born again today. All you have to do is repeat after me and invite him into your life. Just a simple prayer. Just believe the story that Jesus died for your sins, that he was buried in a borrowed tomb. And early that third day morning, he rose from the dead. Will you join me in pray today? Invite Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and your Savior so that you can be different, so you can go to heaven and those of you who are saved, will you recommit during this season? Make Jesus the center of attention and the main attraction? Will you recommit your lives to Jesus Christ today? Because if you're already saved, you can be sanctified and walk in him. The door of the church is open. The invitation is extended. My first invitation is for those of you who are not saved who have never received Jesus Christ as your Savior, the door is open. Will you come? If you would give your life to Christ today, just repeat after me in a very simple prayer. Just repeat after me and invite Jesus into your life. Will you bow your head with me and re just repeat this simple prayer? Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sins. Now come into my life. I believe that you rose from the dead. Lord, I'm trusting you to make me a new person. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and thank God. We believe if you pray this prayer, you are now born again. You're on your way to heaven. We believe that you 
or saved and you need to begin to do the work of the Lord. In other words, you need to be sanctified. You need to be set apart. You need a good Bible teaching church and I recommend the New Beginning Church where Jesus is the main attraction, the center of attention and the captain of the ship. You can join online, just inbox me and let me know that you want to be a member of the New Beginning Church. And for those of you who are struggling, struggling with depression, struggling with heartache, struggling with disappointment, struggling with sense, sickness, struggling with sensitivities, I pray with you today. I pray that you trust Jesus been hard on all of us. All of us have had family members to be sick or even to die. But we trust Jesus. Those of you who are mad with God, I pray for you today that you will trust Jesus the Christ as your Savior and trust him as your Lord. Will you join me in prayer? Lord Jesus, we thank you now for these who have come. We ask you to touch and heal as only you can. We thank you for so many victories, so many deliverance, so much healing that you've already done. We know you as the great I am God. We know you, Father God, as Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals us, Thank you for the victories of so many healing. And Lord, we know you as the God who encourages us. We ask you to encourage somebody today. Lift up every bowed down head. Ease every troubled mind. Bless somebody that is lonely right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, be their comforter. Be their company keeper. God, we pray today that you continue to walk with us. Remind us that we're born again, we're saved. Remind us that we're holy, we're set apart. We have sanctification. Remind us, Lord, that there will come a day, Lord, that we will be glorified and glorification will take over these mortal bodies. Where immortality will put on, where mortality will put on immortality. Where corruption will put on incorruption. We will be glorified and we will forever be with the Lord. Lord, I ask you to bless some child that's struggling with Christmas. They're struggling with the idea of what Christmas is really all about. I pray for some family member, some adult who don't have the ability to make the ends meet. Lord, I know you as being bread on the table. Lord, I know you as being water to the thirsty. God, I ask you to bless in the name of Jesus. Lord, domestic violence has gone up. Lord, I ask you to be a counselor. Lord, I ask you to calm the storms. Lord, children are being left behind. Lord, I ask you to bless them in the name of Jesus. Keep them, Lord. Lord, bless our youth and our young people that they will get focus on the real reason for Christmas. Lord, we thank you for the victory. We thank you for what you do and how you do it. Bless us in our lack of understanding, Father God, to submit to you and you alone. It's in the precious, mighty, comforting name of Jesus of Christ we pray and we ask it all. Amen. And thank God.
Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of our service as we celebrate Jesus the Christ and his birthday. We understand that he may not have been born on this day, but we celebrate this day. And we want to make sure that you have an opportunity to give to Jesus the Christ. Let's give Jesus a birthday present. It is now offering time. It is time to give to the Lord through tithes, offering, and sacrificial gifts. As you give your tithes and your offering, I'm asking you today to give a birthday gift to Jesus. Include it in your offering. Include it in your tithe. Indicate that this is Jesus' birthday and you want to celebrate it by giving to Jesus. You can give by cash app. Our cash tag is dollar sign NBC Souls. Cash tag NBC Souls. Or you can give by Zelle. Our Zelle account is lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. Lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. Or you can give by mail, by mailing your offering, your tithes, your gift to Jesus to P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. That's P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. Again, thank you for joining us in our special Christmas service on today. You can join us on Facebook Live and on Zoom every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. for our Sunday school, 10.45 a.m. for our worship service. And you can also join us on Wednesday night at 7.20 p.m. for our Bible study. This Wednesday, we will not have Bible study, but we will have a great celebration of Jesus Christ for this new year on December 31st at 8 o'clock p.m. I'm asking you to be prepared to to celebrate Jesus, put in the chat and put in to Facebook Live what Jesus has done for you, what God has done for you all this year. And we want to praise him and give our testimony on December 31st, 2020. So we want to celebrate. We want you to celebrate what God is doing in your life. And it has been tough. I say to you, Merry Christmas. But God has kept us. If you're listening to me today, God has, has kept you. And we want to praise him just for that. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you now and we bless your name. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for this celebration. We glorify you for Jesus. We praise you for the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for being our God, our Lord. We ask you to bless us now. Bless us as we move and interact with friends and family members. Keep us safe. Keep us in your will. And keep us in your way. Now unto him who is able to present us spotless before the awesome God. Unto him be power, be glory and dominion. And we all said, amen, amen, and amen. We here at the New Beginning Church, we are uniting the church, strengthening families, supporting schools, and empowering neighborhoods to impact the world as we are reaching souls by lifting Jesus. Jesus says, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you again. God bless you.